Breaking now at 6, Henry County Schools will now require masks in the classroom. That decision coming just under two hours ago. It applies to all indoor buildings. Right now, Georgia averaging almost 580 new cases per day in children 17 and younger. And that number rose drastically during the first week of class. Still, some say masks should be optional in schools. The parents that have masks for their kids have the choice. We just want the same choice. That's it. Dozens of parents rallied against school mask mandates at the governor's mansion today. CBS 46's Ashley Thompson is live at Lake Forest Elementary in Sandy Springs with this part of the story. Ashley. Tracy schools are doing what they can to adapt and respond to the rising numbers. We want to give you a snapshot of some school districts in the metro. Take a look at some of these numbers. This is from the first week of school. Gwinnett County Schools reporting 254 confirmed cases. DeKalb County Schools with 213 cases. Cobb County Schools reporting 253 cases. While Fulton County, which actually started school today, began tracking though one week ago, has reported 91 cases. It's the start of the school year, but local school systems are already battling COVID-19 cases. Around the metro, districts are seeing their numbers climb, some of them mandating masks in schools and on buses. The mitigation efforts are not without pushback. Both my children went to Milton this morning um, without mask. Uh, we, don't, we don't wear mask. And as they went in, they were shouted down. Uh, by the office. Mark Wright says his son had to be in the principal's office all day for refusing to wear a mask. Another parent also believes they should be optional in the classroom. As parents, we're the ones that have to deal with the fallout, the medical fallout. Um, you know, I have a daughter who has a medical condition. Uh, it is not healthy for her to wear a mask. Our doctor has told us so. Dr. Fauci, however, says schools should require masks this fall to stop the spread. And other White House officials, including second gentleman Doug Emhoff, encouraging young people to get vaccinated. The deep divide continues. This morning, parents gathered outside of the governor's mansion protesting mask mandates. I think at this point, the pandemic, a lot of mandates uh, are not going to work. Governor Kemp touching on the heated issue today. I trust that these local leaders are going to listen and work with their parents to figure out what is best for their children at the local level. Every school is different. Parents watching how the semester unfolds. If we continue to be discriminated against and ostracized, um, legal action will be taken. We've, we've got attorneys involved. Now this is a fight that will likely continue. This morning, the superintendent of Fulton County Schools tweeted, quote, I'm working on an alternative option for parents who oppose the district's temporary masking requirement. More information will be provided by Thursday. Of course, we will continue to follow this developing story. For now, I'm live in Fulton County. Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News. Ashley, thank you.